Oh my God, look at this. It's burning. What does $250 of best-selling K-beauty get you? And just because they are best sellers, does it mean that they will work for my skin or your skin? Korean beauty is known for its cutting edge innovations. There are things right now like a microneedling cream that doesn't have needles but has microspheres in it. Or there are face mask pads that are supposed to help balance something that in Korea they call your oil to water balance. And on top of that, there are so many K-dramas and K-pop stars who happen to have favorite products that they constantly pull out of their bags. Well, I wanted to find some of the best-selling Korean products on a budget, specifically an entire morning routine and evening routine for only $250. And $250 is still a lot, but if I'm getting more than 10 products and I'm trying to build out an extensive routine, $250 is like two products at Nordstrom. That's the budget I'm giving myself, and I want to dive into the best sellers that are brand new to me or that I really haven't had a chance to try before. And of course, they all have to be vegan and cruelty free. Now, when it comes to finding these products, I've actually gotten to travel to Korea recently. It was my first time and it was fascinating to see how things in Korea and the best sellers there are actually slightly different than the things that we often see online. There are multiple K-beauty retailers that I love, but Stylevana is one of my favorite. They always seem to have the best prices on K-beauty and they have a lot of details on each page about each product, including categories such as cruelty free or vegan, which makes it really easy for me to shop. We're working with them on a portion of this video to also provide extra discounts. And again, I'm hoping I won't have to use an extra discount because I want to get this K-Beauty under 250. And fun fact, this has actually taken me over six months to shop, to swatch, to test, to try, and to bring to you. And boy, some of these best sellers, I'm shocked that they're not charging more money. And others are actually quite disappointing. Just because it's K-Beauty doesn't mean it's going to work for your skin or for mine. Not to mention, my skin has gone through a lot of changes recently. I used to be an oily acne prone person and my entire skin face and brain has felt flaky dry and really hung out to dry if I'm being completely honest about my mental health <laughs> either way skincare has a way of making me feel better and if I can get excited about some of these things that's what we're gonna do together because yes for me shopping is a coping mechanism I am aware of it but at least it works and it's better than some of the other negative coping habits I could have acquired <laughs> let's dive into how I actually went about choosing some of these best sellers and whew, what happened to my face once these showed up on my doorstep? I have so much excitement because I have tea in a beautiful little mug. I have Koneki, which is what we named her. She's a gift from a friend and someone I work with from Japan. And I also have $250 to spend on Korean beauty products. And um, you know me, sometimes going a little bit overboard with the skincare. I wanna share with you how I shop responsibly what I look for when I am shopping online and specifically how I am going to get some deals today. And I wanna shop for some K-beauty that I haven't tried before. So I'm going to open up Stylevana and immediately I go to the skincare section. They kind of have it organized by type, but you know me, I'm going directly to the sunscreens. Right here, they literally say it's Korean and Japanese sunscreen products. And I see some favorites that are definitely on sale, but there's also a couple of things that I want to try for the first time. So right here, there's this Round Lab Birch Juice Moisturizing Sun Cream SPF 50. I saw this all over in Korea. I want to get this and see if it's the same or not. And again, what is birch juice? You know, the birch trees that peel off? They got the juice from the tree and they're putting it in the sunscreen. So we're gonna go with this. Well, you know what else? I'm also kind of looking for a sun stick. So the difference between a sunscreen and a sun stick is one is basically a glue stick for your face. There have been some studies showing that sun sticks don't cover as well. It's really all about how you apply them and blend them in. And there's this one from Abib. I don't know if it's Abib or Abib, but I am really excited about this. This is the Quick Sun Stick Protection Bar SPF 50 PA++++. I am super excited about this. And when we look at the ingredients, I love that this has green tea, gota cola, and aloe vera. These are basically really hydrating ingredients that you don't see in a lot of American sunscreens. And this has ceramides in it as well. The price is right, so I'm gonna be adding this to my court. Should I be happy with the sun stick or should I get a sun cream as well? Oh, look, it's the Isn't Tree Onion New Pear sunscreen. How about it? For me, it's really important that products are cruelty free. So that's something that I always look for. Oh, I love this. Look at the reviews. Someone said it's their Desert Island product. Ah, someone else said that it's for the sunscreen hater because she hates all sunscreens, but after giving this one a try, it was purple and she stole the sunscreen. 
That makes me so happy. And what I love about Stalvan is that they also give you some tutorials from their YouTube channel. Um, so you can actually see the products being swatched. I feel like that's what a lot of online retailers are missing is actually seeing a swatch. And that's what I try to bring to you as well. So you can actually see how they work. Next, I'm going to go specifically to their cruelty-free section. This is one way that makes it super easy to shop. They also have sections for like acne or dryness, which makes it really easy for me. I have noticed that out of all of like the Korean beauty retailers, Stylevana does take a while to get here. You can, I believe, pay for expedited shipping, but I think they just have like so many orders because <laughs> so many people shop from them. It can sometimes take a little while and I like sit there at my front door waiting, but when it comes to actually navigating the website, I found that it's one of the easiest for me to find what's actually cruelty free or not in Korea. Oh, okay, right here, the I'm From Rice Toner. I have tried a couple of I'm From products before, but this rice toner is a bestseller that I've never tried. There are a lot of people right now that are using rice water on both their skin and their hair. They're using it as makeup prep or as a hair growth solution. And this is packaged up in a way that doesn't expire for like a year. So that sounds pretty good. Oh, look, it says in stock, usually shipped with within 24 hours. We're gonna try the I'm From Rice Toner as well. Ooh, moisturizers. You know, as we're getting into winter, I need a little bit more hydration for my skin. Oh, I love this. On the first page, I'm actually seeing this from Skin1004. This is a Madagascar Centella Pro Bio Sika Enrich Cream. I heard about this when it first launched at Cosmoprof. This was back in June or July. I was in Las Vegas and it was like 100 degrees, um, but I haven't had a chance to try it. This looks amazing because it has probiotics and it is a moisturizer. It has ceramides, it has phytosterols, which are basically these plant steroids. This has fatty acids, macadamia seed oil, and fermented centella. Now this isn't just regular centella, it's fermented centella. Oh my gosh, they're saying there's over 1,600 that have been sold with 528 reviews. Oh, uh, let's call that 1,601, baby. <laughs> okay, as I'm shopping here, I'm also seeing something I don't like. This is the CauseRx Advanced Snail 92 All-in-One Cream. I understand a lot of people are interested in snail mucin right now, but um, some people have been having like legit reactions. If you are allergic to dust mites or crustaceans, don't put snails on your face. And a lot of people are like putting this on, hoping it'll clear blemishes. There are no medical studies showing that snail mucin is good for eczema, blemishes, redness, dryness, all of the things that people mention. We're gonna go to the Astura Alto Barrier Cream. This is the 365 cream. This is less expensive and I have heard amazing things about this. Uh, what? <laughs> okay, this one has over 5,200 items sold. Wow, and we're actually getting 80 milliliters. So for me, I'm going to go down to the gallery. Now, but when I click on the gallery, I can actually see those photos and videos of the products. This one's gorgeous. Um, all of this is written in Korean and I can't read that, but I actually really like how hydrating that looks on this person's hand. And the texture, while I can't read it, it, it looks nice. Oh, dermatologist test, hypoallergenic test, and sensitive panel test. That sounds like me. Okay, I am adding this to my court. Okay, I've done a little damage on the moisturizers. Should I find another moisturizer? Or we need a cleanser. We need a good cleanser. And you know, with K-Beauty, we need a good double cleanse. There is a new cleanser from Hamish, the All Clean Balm that I saw. I've been a huge fan of the regular All Clean Balm, but apparently they have like this Mandarin Orange limited edition one. I want to get my hands on this so bad. And in Chinese culture, Mandarin Orange is actually considered lucky. Ooh, there's so many bestsellers. And there's actually a lot of bestsellers I haven't tried. Ooh, ooh, okay. I know we we're gonna look at cleanser, but we're going back to toners for a second. This is the Heart Leaf Toner from Anua. It's the 77% soothing toner. Here's the thing about this Heart Leaf Toner is there are other brands that have Heart Leaf. Specifically, Mix Soon is a really good one. I have heard that this Heart Leaf Toner continues to sell out. I've heard that it's great. There are over 5,300 sold. The price on this is really good. Again, Mix Soon has some good ones, but I am very interested in trying this, especially because it has sugar cane and grape. Both of those can actually hold on to moisture and pull that moisture deeper into the skin. And as we approach winter, you know that's what I'm looking for. Oh, it's a soothing toner at that. Okay, back to me looking for a cleanser. Oh my gosh, here it is. Okay, all clean balm in Mandarin. I'm so excited. Oh, and the before and afters are kind of crazy. They have like some really dirty pores and then they look clean. Um, when I look at these ingredients, I'd have to pull out the original, but so far these look really similar. There is orange leaf oil, there is turmeric in here, there's ceramides. This looks like similar, but, but there are some differences to the original. 
Oh my gosh, I'm excited. I'm going to the gallery, baby. <gasps> it's beautiful. Oh, it's the clean bomb. Okay, I hope that this works just as well as the original and here's the dangerous part. <clears throat> I'm sensitive to citrus. This could be a disaster for me or this could be amazing. It says that it's sensitive skin safe. It says skin irritation test resulted in 0.00% irritation index, free from allergen ingredients. Can be allergic to anything so we're taking a walk on the wild side you've sold me on it already i already knew i wanted this I'm trying to stay under budget here but you know we're gonna do what we can now what good is a cleanse if we don't have a double cleanse this is from the maneo line this is the pure cleansing oil this is again one of these that sells out all the time oh my gosh this is even more 7200 sold wow it has argon kernel oil which i know is fantastic for removing and breaking down makeup in chemistry like dissolves like so if you have oil-based makeup an oil cleanser will break it down. If you have water-based makeup, a water will break it down. And that's why using both like a double cleanse that has water and oil is great. Oh, and look at this. It's an oil and then you put water on it and it turns this like creamy foam. We gotta get some more toners. I, just in case I break out, let's get a couple of acne goodies. And this is the Sun By Me AHA, BHA, PHA 30 Days Miracle Toner. Now I've used the AHA, BHA Miracle Cream before and I love it, but I have never used the toner. This has papaya fruit extract, which we know papaya enzymes can help to basically exfoliate the skin and remove gunk and buildup, which can be beneficial for breakouts. This has witch hazel extract, which can be kind of an astringent to the skin. Oh, this has lentil seed extract. That's fantastic. Lactobionic acid, ooh, peppermint and tea tree. Those could be irritating for some, but peppermint is actually an analgesic in medicine, meaning it helps to kill pain. And sometimes when I be picking, it be painful. Now, this does have salicylic acid, so this does appear to be a good acne toner. Where are these reviews coming from? There's 25,000 of these that have been sold. I thought the 3,000 was a lot. Wow. And again, they say it ships within 24 hours. Okay, we'll see. Okay, because sometimes my orders take a while. I know, I know they'd be busy. <laughs> you know what? Let me look at the best sellers. <laughs> There's a couple of other best sellers that I have been seeing pop up on my feed. Toradin, specifically. Toradin is this one brand that has a bunch of like hyaluronic acid products. This right here is the Dive In Low Molecular Hyaluronic Acid Serum. When it comes to hyaluronic acid weights, um, you can think of them as like cookies, right? Sometimes we have big cookies and sometimes we have like the mini chocolate crunchy chips and hyaluronic acid can come in different sizes. Now, HA, it sounds like an acid. It doesn't exfoliate. It's not dangerous. Some people are afraid of it. It's actually made naturally by our bodies. It's in our synovial fluid um, and cartilage. But when it is introduced to the skin, it can actually hold on to water molecules and bring them deeper into the skin as long as it has that moisture available. If you live in a dry desert climate, maybe don't use it, but if you live in humid weather or if you're traveling, phenomenal. Um, and again, this is the Dive In Serum with that low molecular weight. So those little cookies are really, really tiny for this one, which means it can theoretically get deeper into the skin as long as the other conditions and the rest of the formula is right. Now, when I look at this, the ingredients do look good. Um, it hydrates and suits. Oh my God, it's won like three different beauty awards. Clean beauty award in the trend category, all of young. Number one glow pick award, Huawei beauty award. I don't even know what these awards are, but I am so here for it. Oh, and it's a blue colored hydrating serum. I want a blue serum. I know it's dumb and I know it doesn't help, but when they're pretty colors, I enjoy them, okay? So this actually has five types of hyaluronic acid in different molecular sizes formulated to enhance the absorption of hyaluronic acid. This is actually sounding a lot like Isntree. They have an eight uh, hyaluronic acid serum. Oh, and this has panthenol, which is vitamin B5 and allantoin for hydration. I'm actually gonna get this and I'm gonna compare it to the Isntree because my Isntree one is really good. Something else that was so apparent to me when I visited Korea was the abundance of these K-Beauty bombs or these sticks. They're basically these multi-bombs that people use on their nose and you know on their lips and on their nails and even on their hair. And it was kind of interesting because in Korea they have like these 12 to 20 step beauty routines, but at the same time, some people are so busy they just have their multi-bombs and they don't want to fuss with it. This Kahi one has been in so many K-dramas. Like every single time, you know, the antagonist and protagonist are about to have their moment in a subway, they apply this bomb. But unfortunately, it's not cruelty-free. But something I do see right here is the Haru Haru Wonder Centella ACE Vitaful Miracle Healing Multi-Bomb. That's, um, that's a big, that's a, that's a lot of words. But you know what? 
Haru Haru is a fantastic brand. Uh, they're made by a woman named Jane and I'm in love with their sunscreens and their cleansing oil. Bright dewy skin anytime, anywhere. I appreciate that. This has sea buckthorn fruit extract, which can be phenomenal for skin, which is high in vitamins A, C, and E. Remember that vitamin A is that retinoid. Vitamin C is amazing for pollution and it's necessary for collagen production in our bodies. Uh, vitamin E is otherwise known as tocopherol. It can be really good for scars and for wound healing. And vitamin K, which is phenomenal for skin barrier support. And I don't see vitamin K in a lot of products. We actually put it into the purple protector sunscreen, but I'm liking this. Oh, it has olive oil. Jennifer Lopez, Jennifer Lopez, are you, are you, are you going to Korea and formulating some products? I am adding this to cart and I want to compare this to what I saw in Korea. I'm excited to try this too, because I think this is a new product from Haru Haru Wonder. Ooh, barrier cycle toner pad. I need this. So in Korea, everyone uses these things called toner pads and they're basically pads that are soaked with toner. And I've, you know, used like cotton pads that I soak with toner or someone who got me this little thing <laughs> has also gotten me toning pads from Japan and I soak them and I make my own face mask. But I didn't realize in Korea, they literally have these jars of things and they just take them out before they go on their day. And even while they're in transit, they will have like a circle on their forehead and circles on their <laughs> cheeks and they'll just use them as they're out and about. Mm -hmm. And um, I actually wanna try a lot more of these toning pads because I have heard such great things. This is the Pcom barrier cycle toning pad. Let me see, I wanna compare this one to others. And it specifically says dryness, hydration, and calming and blackheads all three of which I'm concerned about this winter. I actually have more sebaceous filaments than blackheads, but this one gently exfoliates, which again, she's been a little crusty. She hasn't been taking care of herself the way she should be. So when we're in the mood and feeling good, <laughs> we need to make sure that we have the tools we need to take care of the face. I think I shared in a video recently, there have been more times this year that I didn't do my skincare than in like the last 10 years. And um, I have the breakouts to show for it. Like it's not been a fun time. <laughs> Okay, so this has something called a KMX Biome. When I read that, I read BMX, like motorcycle. No, KMX Biome, I guess this is a proprietary trademarked thing that has lactobacillus, gum extracts, centella and essiaticide. Very interesting, um, and it seems like it's very hydrating. Now, I don't know if there's any clinical studies on this, but maybe we could look into it. This says sensitive skin that easily turns over in 28 days. So I guess this is a 28 day test. Oh, they really are pulling blackheads out, aren't they? Wow, healthy skin, okay. Oh, and they actually have cosmetic and safety standard inspections and OEKETEX class one verification. This is also really important. I love it when companies actually show us certifications because a lot of companies don't even communicate with their manufacturers or know where their ingredients are sourced. It is super important to have that information and I love that that's actually being provided here. So yeah, out of the toning pads, I was considering this one or the onion one from Isntree. I'm gonna get this one. Well, there's another Abib toner booster. So a toner booster is basically something, you can kind of think of it as like an essence. They tend to be a little bit thicker and they have more ingredients in them than just hydration. So most toners are really good as an astringent or hydration, something you do um, to tone and balance the skin. But when it has these extra ingredients such as centella or such as hyaluronic acid or even wintergreen, that can help with a little bit of breakouts, even honeysuckle is in here. That can help with a little bit of an antioxidant boost and basically give more to the skin than just hydration. Now the honeysuckle in here is tricky. It's great um, and it's wonderful, but honeysuckle can sometimes be used as a preservative and it's a way for companies to preserve their products, which we want. So there's no mold and bacteria, but it is considered natural. So for those who are concerned about something being natural, they can technically still say it's natural even with a preservative. So we love it when our products are preserved correctly. I think I'm going to try this again, this Abib, Abibi, Abab, Abab. I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm just going to say Abib. <laughs> I've heard a lot about this and they even have an advent calendar that looks amazing. The whole line is cruelty free, but not all of their products are vegan, but this one is. So we're going to add this one to the cart. Oh, I'm so excited. I think I need one more sunscreen. <laughs> Sunscreens are the most essential part in a routine. All of these other products, while they're great, they're not doing as much for your skin as a sunscreen does. If you use nothing else, use a sunscreen. And the top 50 sunscreen products. Okay, I've see, I've already tried a lot of these. Like I have the Mermaid Skin, I have the Aloe Soothing Cream. I'm very lucky I've gotten to try a lot of these. Nivea, 
Why is Nivea a top seller? Oh, it's Nivea Japan. What? Oh my God, and they have refills? Sometimes when companies sell in other countries, the quality is completely different and oftentimes better. Nivea Japan. <gasps> Super water SPF 50 gel. We don't have anything like that here. Problem is, I don't know if this is cruelty free. I don't, it doesn't say cruelty free. And usually Stalvon is pretty good about notating if it is or not. Nivea America is not cruelty free, so I am not going to go with that. You know that Dr. Seracal one? The one that had that vegan berry moisturizer? Looks like they have sunscreen as well. Oh, this is calling my name. Vegan kombucha tea? That sounds like me. I'm a vegan kombucha tea. <laughs> Dr. Seracal, who was it? I think Shenny, our beautiful butterfly, had told me about this. Did you guys know that I got to meet Shenny in person? She's amazing. And she has told me about so many brands, including starting me on Isntry and Pyongyang Yul, which is why I became obsessed with them. But I think she told me about this one as well. Suricol, Caracol, Suricol. Is it like miracle, but Suricol? I don't know. Let's see, it's a radiant BB cream for hydro. Oh, I like. This is like a BB cream, so it's like a tinted moisturizer. Yeah, this is this is calling my name because we have, look, now we have a regular sunscreen. And then we also have a stick sunscreen. And then we have a tinted sunscreen. <laughs> <laughs> so they're all different and I need one from each category, okay? Now, this is an SPF 30. It's not an SPF 50, but as long as you're reapplying or especially in the winter time, this is okay for me. Oh, and it's made with recycled plastic. I want to be a vegan kombucha face. Oh my gosh, it says it lasts more than 10 hours with makeup. So you can use it under or it looks like you could probably apply it over. It's infused with a kombucha tea essence. How interesting. And let's see, the kombucha tea extract is at 65%. Wow. Panthenol, then hyaluronic acid. We're seeing this a lot in these products, but again, they're great ingredients and there's no wonder that we see them in so many different things. Oh, oh, okay. So it's got like a pigment capsule around an essence. So there's like a, an encapsulation technology in here for natural skin texture, comfort, and fit. Where were these when I was going through acne when I was young and didn't know what to put on my face? And again, I'm seeing the manufacturing papers. Okay, amazing. I love that they've actually tested it. Okay, adding to cart. I need to stop. My wallet is crying. Let's see what we got. Let me make sure that I only have one of each because sometimes I accidentally press the button <laughs> like a hyperactive squirrel child. I have 13 products in my cart. It's a full routine plus a little extra. Our budget was 250. What do you think our total comes to? 270. That's actually really good for 13 products. No. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're right over our budget. It's $254.08. Oh. I know. Do I remove something? Coupon codes. Actually, <laughs> this coupon code is updated. It usually gets you like five or 10% off. It's INF10K Beauty. Normally gets 5% off. I think it's 24%. Hold on, hold on. Only until December 11th. Oh, 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 I'm saving $52. Oh my God. It's way under budget. It's only coming to a little bit over 200. This is so exciting. Okay, I'm going to check out. Yay, take my money. And we are going to see how long this takes to ship. I'm slightly nervous about the Mandarin and slightly excited about the acne products to fix my face in case the mandarin breaks me out. I cannot wait for these to arrive. Several days later. Guess what just arrived and guess who lost her voice? I think life was like, hey lady, we told you to slow down and you didn't, so we're gonna force you to slow down. And I'm like, <clears throat> no. So I know I sound terrible, but ah, I can't wait to open this up. <coughs> This is my skincare so I can cough on it. Ah, this is my double cleanse. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, we have our acne toner. Ooh. Do you ever like order something and like you low key forget what's in it, but you kind of remember and then you kind of forget? <laughs> Look, I got my Centella. Oh my, Abib, Abibi. <laughs> oh my God, the I'm from Rice toner. I am going to separate this out into a morning and an evening routine. <clears throat> and as long as I'm feeling up for it, oh my God, I can't wait to try this. Um, we're gonna, we're gonna do this and I'm gonna share with you my first impressions. I can't believe that this was under 250 bucks. <gasps> Look, should I patch test or should I just go for it? 
the intrusive thoughts are intruding. I know I should patch test. Do you ever like make rules for yourself and not follow them? Sometimes I heavily regret it. Other times it's fine. Just putting this, I have like dryness and chappedness all around my nose because I'm sick. So I'm using mist to see how it goes. It doesn't feel like a lip balm. It's actually a little powdery. Oh my gosh, this is that blue hyaluronic acid serum from Toradin. Oh, it's like a baby blue. It's not like, you know what I was just looking at? This. Peach and Lily, they have this copper serum. I thought it was gonna be more blue like this. It's like a very light blue. This is like a blue blue. This I will patch test. Oh, this lid is a little cheap. Let me just patch test you. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, here's my sunscreens. Ah, the sunscreens, I got the sunscreens. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is so exciting. Dr. Seracle. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, is she tiny? Is she tiny but mighty? Oh, <gasps> what? Oh my gosh. See, the only thing that I have concerns about is what about people with different skin tones and skin colors? That's actually really covering. That covers, oh, that covers a lot. Oh, I did it again where I'm supposed to patch test and I just put it on my face anyways. <clears throat> Oops, do as I say, not as I do. Here's our moisturizer. I got the Octo barrier, alto auto auto barrier. I've heard such great things about this. Why do I sound like a gremlin? Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, don't fall on me, please. Okay, this right here. Oh my gosh. Okay, hi. Sorry. Oh. Barrier cycle toner pad. These are supposed to be good for acne. My skin is a little crusty right now. I think it's like crusty and dry because I'm sick. Dude, when I'm sick, my skin legit changes. Like it changes. I feel like I have a different skin. I am gonna exfoliate it with this. Oh, and the ingredients are so good. Papaya, tea tree. I'm so excited about this menthol. I'm okay with menthol. I have a 13 step combobulation that is going to be a morning routine and evening routine. I'm going to patch test this and then I'm gonna test the morning and evening routines when I'm not a frog. <coughs> Kermit called, he wants his wife back. I've actually never seen, what is that, Sesame Street? Um, the puppets, Muppets, Muppets. Anyways, I cannot wait to rub this on my face. I am going to actually patch test this right now because this could be a disaster. Open. Oh, look at how beautiful. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like an orange creamsicle. Not even, like Ula Hendrickson smells like an orange creamsicle. This legit smells like, oh my God. It smells like a citrus garden. It smells like my grandma's garden. Oh, the emotions. Oh my God, that smells so good. I'm gonna leave it here, see if it burns my wrist off. Um, I'm gonna leave this on for a few hours. Does anyone else keep these? I totally keep these, I'm a weirdo. All right, I'm gonna go huck some loogies and I'll be back. Guess who's sick and woke up super late, but look, I don't have irritation. Um, from the cleansing balm, so that's what we're going to use. I do have a little bit of redness on my skin, especially where I've been like blowing my nose. So we're gonna tie back the hair and first impression, some of these, I'm so excited. Also, I'm taking zinc lozenges. Hope this works. It's like zinc and elderberry. The way that zinc is supposed to work, I believe, is by shortening the duration of colds and flus. So we're gonna hope that works. It didn't burn my hand, but will it burn my face? I hope not. I do want to try this over makeup as well, just to see if it works as well as the original. Oh, this is so good. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. Love her. Ooh. Mm. it feels amazing. It smells so good. It's not stinging or burning and it's not removing my eyelashes either, which is great. I'm using this for the morning because the mandarin orange in here naturally has vitamin C. This also has that brightening turmeric and licorice, so you could use this at night, but you could also use this during the morning based on the ingredients. Rinse. And this is where it turns milky. Mm. Oh my God, I love this. And I love that it's not making me overly red. I have dermatographia, so my skin sometimes gets red naturally. This is so good. Mm. I love this so much, so much. You know, it doesn't burn my eyes either, which I freaking love. I feel so smooth. Oh my gosh, I feel so good. <clears throat> I do have this redness from my sickness, but oh my gosh. We're gonna test this over makeup, but so far, I feel like I like this better than the original. I'll have to keep using it 
but it reminds me of my grandmother's garden. She used to grow oranges. Um, oh, I love this. And that's beautiful. It's so pretty. And it works so nice. And yeah, it's tone. This is from I'm From, the rice toner. So excited about this. Again, a lot of people in ancient Korean and Japanese and Chinese history and Asian history and Eastern medicine history have used rice water on their skin, on their hair, etc. You could totally do that. Just don't store it for so long that it gets moldy. But this rice toner has not only the rice, but a bunch of other ingredients as well, such as niacinamide for oil regulation and adenosine can help with a little bit of wrinkle support. Love, okay. Fragrance free. Oh my God, it's so milky. You know what? It's much more milky than regular rice water. And you could put this on a pad or you could just press it into the skin. Ooh, my nose is super sensitive because I'm sick. I have cracks over here and it is burning the cracks. So be aware of that. Oh, that's so nice though. In Korea, they pat a lot of their products into the skin. And I always do a little bit extra right here. This is nice. This is almost like a liquidy essence. I feel like it absorbs into my skin really, really, really well. Is it giving me a nice hydrated glow? We're gonna let this dry for a second and we'll see. 12 seconds later. Oh my God, wait. Did that soak in so well? Dude, I'm having really good luck with these. I'm actually loving the way this looks. It's just that I hurt right here and right here. Okay. Oh my God. Okay, who is she? Hi. Wait, why do I love this? Like, I thought I was gonna love this. Like, I love first impressions only. We'll have to see over time, but I love this. Okay. This right here, I was excited about. This is the Pecom Barrier Cycle Toner Pad. This is specifically one of those toner pads where I saw in Korea, they literally use them on the bus. This has exfoliating things. I was gonna use it on some pimples. I have a few pimples on my back, so maybe I could do that. I patch tested, it came out fine. And it comes with the pinchy tweezy doohickey. Sometimes I feel like these pinchy tweezy doohickeys are kind of meh, but oh, and you know what? I don't love the bottle of this as having a hard time closing. And I'm worried about that being properly sealed. Well, that's not good. Well, there's that. So this is supposed to be a toner pad. It is not like exfoliating, but it does have little ridges on the pad. I'm going to swipe one. I'm specifically going to focus on these areas right here where I get some breakouts. Do you see that? It actually does not sting at all. Here we go. Get them pimpies. You know, I bet you this would be good for ingrown hairs in the armpits as well. I only really have ingrown hairs on one armpit, but if this is an exfoliant, I bet you that would work really well. You know, it's not stinging at all. It's kind of expecting it to. Just because I don't feel it working doesn't mean it's not. But first impressions. I was excited about this and now I'm like, bro, what's wrong? Why don't you close? Mm. Oh, is it maybe this little lid thing? Oh, that was it. Oh, well, this one has the papaya, witch hazel, tea tree. It does have rice bran, ceramides. I'm gonna try this the next time I have a breakout. Let you know how it works. Oh, it does sting the corners of my nose. I mean, everything does because the corners of my nose are red right now. I'm just gonna use this to clean behind my ears. Fun fact, there's a lot of bacteria that lives behind your ears. This can be a really good way to clean that off. I'm kind of not sold on this. I don't know. I don't know about that one. This one. Oh my God, when I patch tested this, oh my God, the formula, insane. Again, I had tried this in Las Vegas and look at this spoon. Okay, look at the difference between that. Skin 104 versus Pecom. Look at that quality spoon. It's plastic, but it feels like glass. So this is the Pro Sika Enrich Cream. I'm not gonna do a serum this morning. We're just gonna do the moisturizer. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my God, hi. Look at this. This texture reminds me of a vegan snail mucin. And you know, a little, oh my God, a little goes a long way. Look at this. Oh my gosh. This reminds me of snail essence. I love this spoon. I love that this is fragrance free. Oh my God, look, this is so nice. It's hydrating. I feel like I actually could have used like a quarter of this. I'm gonna put a little on my nose. You know what? It's not burning. 
It's not burning the sides of my nose and I thought it would. This would make a great night under eye cream. You know that under eye creams are usually overpriced moisturizers. I like patches, not eye creams. I think you could use moisturizers as an eye cream as long as they're fragrance free and you're not putting them in your eyes. And this would be such a good under eye cream. Oh my God, look at this. This is like snail mucin. This is like vegan snail mucin. Oh my God, I love this. Skin 1004, you are my skin angel. Look at how bouncy my skin is. What? This is not burning or stinging the sides of my nose at all. <laughs> which is amazing. And it's soaked in so well. I feel like I am a little bit drier than normal. If you have oily skin, try this. Tell me if it works for you or not. Look, you get a lot of it too. Oh my God, I love this. Hi, who is she? She's sick? You wouldn't know unless she starts talking. Wait, this is so good. Now let's do some sunscreens. I'm gonna test these over separate days, but I'm also gonna just play with them now. This is the one that I tried in Korea, um, the SPF 50. I love her little art. And apparently this is a really top selling sunscreen in Korea. I'm gonna do just a partial finger swipe because I'm not doing this all over today. Oh, wow. It's like completely fragrance free. So this is my skin before. I have a little bit of redness, but not bad. It is, oh, there's a little smell. Not much though. I'm also gonna put this around my, I'm just gonna do one eye. See if it burns. I'm not putting it in the eye, but just around. Has a little bit of a whiteness and then it really does blend in. And again, this is an organic slash chemical sunscreen. Way better than a ton of American sunscreens, but I'm also like, what makes it so great compared to Korean sunscreens? Because there's a lot of good Korean sunscreens, you know? Again, this has this tree bark, this birch bark sap juice water leaf. It's nice, gives a nice glow. It's very lightweight, but I'm gonna have to use this throughout the day and let you know how it goes. Let me try these. This is the Vegan Kombucha Tea SPF 30 Caracal. I liked the color of this originally. My concern was how will this color work on everyone? If you're super pale or if you have super ebony skin. You know what, let's try to cover up some of this redness. Do you see that? I'm gonna do a little here. Here, I'm just gonna do it on my cheeks and on the corners of my nose where I have been having these issues. Oh, it's like really covering. Like, is it a sunscreen or is it a foundation? Does that not look like a foundation or a concealer? It looks a little pale. I mean, I guess it kind of matches here, yeah? I don't know if this is paste city or if this is like how it should be. I'm, ooh, ah, wait, <clears throat> it's burning. Around my lips and, ah, and around the corner of my nose, this is actually starting to burn. Does this have fragrance in it? Camellia Sinensis is like the second ingredient. Yeah, the ingredients are really good. Again, more rice bran, some dimethicone, which is what gives it that primer-like feel. Zinc, um, so that's what's you know giving us this color. I'm actually not seeing, <sighs> in my eyes working, I'm not seeing a ton of fragrance. Oh, there is some, nope. There is some fragrance in here. And I think that that might be irritating my skin. Oh my God, look at how it covers. Do you see that under eye vein? It just covered it. I didn't think it was gonna rub in. I'd be worried, depending on your skin tone, but low key. That took a second to set. I feel like I need to try this in the real world. Okay, you tell me, does it look good? Or is it pasty? Is this sunscreen or foundation? This finish is more mattified than this finish is more dewy. You can see the redness in my skin. I don't know if it's, this is like foundation. Um, like a light foundation. It actually feels super lightweight on the skin. Look at how that covered right there. Wow. I'm gonna do that lip test where like, you know how when you put foundation on it gets all over your lips and then you have to like outline your lips separately. Let me see. Oh yeah, it's covering the lip. This is like a foundation. You see that? Well. We have a Korean BB cream tinted foundation with kombucha from Dr. Caracal. Ah, there's my lip color. Just a warning on this one. Um, if you have sensitive skin, it does burn the skin around my lips. Let me see if I could put a little on my eyeballs. Not on my eyeballs, on my eyelids. Not burning, not burning the eyelids or around the eyes, just burning where I have cracked fissured skin. So if you have cracks in your skin, or if you're sensitive, beware. Otherwise, it's working here. Let's try the abib stick. Very excited about the abib stick. This, I might even, like you can keep sticks in your car. 
um, as long as they're out of the sun, whereas they last a little bit better than liquids in the car, I've found. A bib, can I have the a bib stick? Oh, it's hard to open. Oh, that's nice. Look at how glossy that be. It's a protection bar and it's a quick stick. So I wanna try this on its own, but also over other sunscreens and makeup to see how it is to reapply. What? Oh, <gasps> what? This is like a powdery Vaseline stick. This is like a glue stick. Oh, <gasps> no. That is so nice. Mm. Look, it's taking off <clears throat> a little bit of um, the uh, Dr. Caracal. So just FYI. But this feels so good. I'm gonna put it right here. Shocking that this is a chemical. Look at it. Mm -mm. Caracal. Caracal be cracking. It's not even irritating the around the nose, whereas the Dr. Caracal did. This is amazing. Oh my God, I'm gonna buy five of these. I wanna give these to friends. <laughs> For someone who hates sunscreen, they might love this. Like, look at how good this would be for on the go. I love this. Wait, why is this better than both of the sunscreens? It's, it's like a glue stick, but like a non-sticky Vaseline. This is amazing. Well, we're going to do this for the day. I'm gonna do a couple of these out and about in the subsequent days and weeks and months, probably by the time it takes me to film. Wow, hey, I test things well, okay? I know it takes me a moment, but I test them good, okay? This is phenomenal. This is good. I wasn't expecting to like this better. This, I don't know. I love you and your spoon do hickey. You could use some improvement. I thought that these would be my favorites and this I think might be, but I found some gems, gems in this and we're only at the morning routine. All right, reapply your SPF and I will see you hopefully when I'm not sick. We'll do an evening routine and test some of these out in the real world. I mean, look at me. Wait, I look so good. I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but like, holy guacamole. I'm red here, but like, why does my face look so good even when I'm sick? I mean, if this is what K-Beauty is doing to my sick red face, look at how even my redness went a little bit down. I'm still cracked and irritated here, but like, hi, who is she? Is she so ready to go take on the world? No, she's gonna take a nap because <laughs> she's sick, but she looks like she's ready to take on the world, so <laughs> yeah. Hello, I am so tired and I feel like I've been coughing up stuff for over a week now and my voice is still weird and I'm supposed to be on a radio show tomorrow. I'm so excited to try this pure cleansing oil. I have a little bit of the sunscreen stick on my face, but we're gonna test out the products in this evening routine. This actually smells a little citrusy. Again, the pure cleansing oil, I've heard that this is like a dupe for the DHC cleanser. The DHC cleanser is a cleansing oil that has been really popular. Oh my God, that is so silky smooth. <gasps> that is so silky. Some oils are greasy. This one is silky. I feel this is even silkier than the DHC. Anyways, there's this DHC cleanser that so many people loved, but it's not cruelty free, so it doesn't work for me. But this is supposed to be a dupe. It's softer on the skin. Mm. I am probably going to try this over makeup at some point just to see how it removes. I love this so much. Okay, let's do a little rinse. You know what? It's getting a little bit milky, but not as milky as um, the Hamish All Clean Balm. Pretty good though. I personally feel oh, like a donkey. Donkey! No, but I personally feel like I like the Hamish All Clean Balm texture, but for this cleansing oil, 14 plant oils. This reminds me a lot of the DHC, but cruelty free. Let's do a little bit of an acne toner. I'm actually shocked I'm not breaking out that much. I think my skin has just been so dry, which is unusual for me, but because I've been so sick. So we're still gonna try a little bit of this. It's the AHA, BHA, PHA 30 Days Miracle Toner. So while this has ingredients that should be good for acne, this could also be good for dry skin because it helps to exfoliate off any crustiness. And I do have a lot of crusties, so. Mm -hmm. Again, these polyhydroxy acids are so wonderful. I'm so glad we've been seeing them in more products. 
They're basically um, large molecules. They're very sugar-like. And they're so large that they just sit on top of the skin and they slowly break it down. Whereas BHAs are oil soluble, so they get really deep into the skin. And even AHAs, while they are water soluble, they can get into the skin a little bit more. Actually, I'm shocked that's not stinging my nose like it the other ones did before. Maybe my nose has healed up a little bit. There's like this foaminess to it. Do you see that? Like I can get the product to kind of foam up. Look at that. Almost looks soapy. I don't know if I like that or not. Oh, I'm so excited about this. The Tordin Dive and Serum. I kept playing with this as a patch test. I really love this. Look at how pretty she is. Again, still confused about the whole your skin is our planet thing. And I don't love the cap, but it's okay. I feel like the products for evening, I'm not as enamored by as the products I was in the morning, but ooh. Mm. This hyaluronic acid serum is paired with water in the product that it can bind to. So hopefully with this along with the toner, hopefully this will bring me a little bit of moisture back in my skin. There's also three different types of skincare people. There are the hand droppers that go like this. There are the hover droppers that don't actually touch it to the skin. And then there are the draggers who drag it across the skin. Maybe we can come up with new names for them, but like there's three different ways that people apply those serums. And um, I'm definitely a you know, an acrobat person or a hand person. Um, and you should be one of those two as well. Tell me, is anyone a dragger? Be honest, or do you know anyone who's a dragger, a contaminator? Anyways, this is really nice. Gentle. I'm trying to see how this compares to the Isn't Tree Hyaluronic Acid Serum because I really love that one. I've tried some Torrid and sheet masks though and they've been great, so, okay. <gasps> Then, I'm so excited about this. This is the Octo Barrier. In the evenings, I've actually been loving this so much. I've been putting a little bit of this on, um, or like after a shower, I just, I love this so much. I don't know if this is gonna hold up to this. And when I was originally getting this, I thought that I was gonna like this more, but we'll see. Okay. <gasps> this also reminds me of the, do you remember the Lan Bell moisturizer from Korea? That was one of the Korean ones that I actually got off of Amazon. This reminds me of that. And look, it has little white specks in it for strengthening the skin barrier and moisturizing it again. The moisturizing ingredients in here, insane. Oh my gosh, wow. I should have tried this before I did that video on Vaseline slugging alternatives because this feels like I'm putting saran wrap on my face. Let me let it soak in and like use it for a little while and see if it compares. Now it's getting a little more powdery. The ingredients in here are like super hydrating. Um, I was actually speaking to someone recently, Jen, who went to Korea with me. She shared she has a bit of dryness, especially some eczema on her hands, and she uses certain creams and certain products, but I don't think she's using the best things that she could. And I was like, let's get you some vegan Vaseline. Let's get you some stuff for the hands and like use a glove overnight. Um, I think that could really help and I'm getting her set up with one of the derms that I work with. But at the same time, I'm like, this actually, I need to look at the ingredients and like see a little bit more, but this could work really well if you have super dry cracked skin. And I feel like obviously listen to your doctor or your derm first, but if you need like an eczema bomb from Korea, this obviously won't cure eczema, but this has that texture that feels like it would soothe over dry skin really well. I mean, I, I was crusty when I came to you today, and now I don't feel flaky anymore. Last time I did uh, a little bit of like spot concealing around my nose. This time I wanna use the multi-bomb. And I feel like this is one of those that I have to use throughout the day as well. But let me just see how this works overnight. It's like a lightweight glue stick. Like it's so funny. You see, and I have these little cuts here. Also when I'm sick and when I have these little cuts, I obviously can't do facials or take care of clients and stuff. And it goes back to that conversation of, I need to take care of myself. And it's been really hard recently and like this year, but like if I don't take care of myself, I can't take care of others. And I know that and I say that all the time, but it wasn't until someone that I work with told me, think of yourself as the product if that helps. You have to take care of the product, otherwise it won't work. I brought that to my BetterHelp therapist and I was like, oh my God, wow. I need to take care of the product. Cause if I can't do facials on others, if I can't show up for videos, if I'm supposed to be on a radio show tomorrow, how am I supposed to talk like this? Anywho, that's the feels. I'm gonna try this during the day. We're gonna give these a couple of runs. I'm really loving this. I like this. I'm not sure if I'm sold on the toner yet, but we'll keep it up. And then this. 
I think this is a really good alternative to the DHC, but this is, this is the face. This is what's going on and I'll probably see you when I'm rubbing the next thing on my face. It is one of those nights <laughs> that I am so tired that almost considered falling asleep in my makeup, but I'm not doing that. I'm gonna take it off. I'm not, I don't drink. Everyone thinks I'm drunk. I'm tired. I'm so tired. It's like four hours past my sleepy time, but we always do our skincare. We're gonna move the makeup, removing. In um, the weather here, it's very cold. So it's more, it's more chunky. I have thick foundation on. Oh, it's, my foundation is creasing. Mm. 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 Um, I'm reviewing it. What is, what am I thinking? I'm so tired. Here's the thing. I get really tired. Um, I get loopy. So I'm just, oh my God, I'm like my mom. I'm reviewing it. Um, It's removing the makeup. Why is my skin so cr Oh my God, look at my crusties. Is it my skin? Is it the foundation? No amount of coffee can keep me up. Oh, it smells. I like that smell. It smells like orange garden. Oh. That's the, there goes the makeup. There it goes. Mm -hmm. Make a mess. It's like the original, just more orange. Not color, smelling. It just smells orange. Okay, pet tight face, pet towel time. Moment of truth. I think I missed a spot. Oh, wait, is that foundation or my bloody nose? <laughs> Fun fact, I have a bloody nose. It's so dry that my nose is now bloody. <coughs> it's the dryness, it, nasal dryness, and it makes it bloody. I feel like it works well where I put the makeup, I only did one cleanse. I mean, where I put the cleanser. God, I need to go to bed. You sleep. It feels like the original. It's just orange. Mandarin. Okay, good night. I'm gonna do my face now. Toner. Okay. This is the cleanser. Good night. Later. So, granted, today has been a lot. Okay. <laughs> Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Skincare headband first. For anything else, today I'm wearing a tinted sunscreen that I've actually been testing out in different climates. And I'm wearing um, blush sunscreen and like makeup. We're gonna see how this removes it. This on its own seems like such a good dupe for the DHT, but not DHT. DHT is dihydrotestosterone. What is, um, what is that cleanser? DCHA, DACA, dog, no, damn it. It's not DACA. What is it? What is that cleanser? Is it DHT? It's not DHT, DHS, VH, no, it's a VHS system, Cassandra. Well, anyways, immediately I can see this breaking down my blush so well, and it is honestly so soothing on the skin. My skin today has been so dry right there right there so not nearly as exhausted today as i was yesterday either so let's see if we can get this off of half of the face and see how it does it does get surprisingly milky it's hard to get into my hairline without like you know getting my hair that also might just be the anatomy of my hairline feels good on the lashes Ooh, my nose is dry. It is soothing on the nose. It doesn't burn or sting at all. 
So, let's see. Moment of truth. It's a little bit where I'm not getting fully into the hairline. Ooh, really need to re-cleanse my hairline. I didn't get this close enough to my hairline. But on the areas that I did actually cleanse, wait, this is softer. This is softer than the All Clean Balm. This actually feels really nice. Little flakies are still there, but yeah. One cleanse did really good on sunscreen and makeup. Wow, even my eyebrow, look at that eyebrow. Like one of them's like gone. Okay, and it didn't remove my eyelashes. They're kind of coming off at this point, but we love it when the eyelashes are not removed, but the makeup and the sunscreen is. Let's do the side. Um, the, fa the side of my face is definitely feeling crusty. And I feel like I didn't have to aggressively rub to get that off. All right. Let's see it. Wow. Oh my gosh. Look, you can actually see I washed my face here, but not with the oil cleanser. Like I did it with just water. You can literally see where I missed going into my hairline. That actually shows me that it is the oil that's breaking this down. Wow, this works really well. Cause I could see where I had that little hairline mark. I'm actually struggling to get my hairline right now because look at, look at this, look at how crusty that is. Literally that's a flake off of my scalp. Wow. So this works really well where you put it. And if you miss a spot, you screw it up, there goes the nail. Wow. Wow. See? This oil is doing it. That is doing it. I like the experience of the Hamish All Clean Balm better because it's like the experience, but I like the results and the softness of my skin. From that that I just threw across the bathroom from this one. The Maneo Pure Cleansing Oil. A little dry. It's definitely lifting off the crust. She just like ate that. Um, it's lifting off the crusties. This has actually been amazing for the dry weather. Um, I'm obsessed with this rice toner. I've just been putting it on nonstop. Really like it. It's like it's nice and glossy. And then this. Auto barrier, auto barrier. It can auto fix my barrier every day. That wasn't meant to sound weird, but it did sound weird. Um, I'm so flaky. I'm just so not used to being this flaky. So here's our auto barrier. Thick. This is a probably one of the most buttery moisturizers I've ever tried, especially from Korea. And you see how it has like little specks in it? I don't know if that's like micro, I wish that I had the ingredients in English. I could probably check the stop on the website. Like it's so Korean that it's only in Korean. But I wonder if um, these are like microspheres that break down upon contact of the skin and release more hydration because that's legit how it feels. And I use this like right around here, around the eyes and it works so well. It doesn't smell like it has a lot of fragrance in it. I have to check and see if the product itself is fragrance free. I'm getting a lot of hits on these. And you know, some of these are actually quite surprising on what I am versus I'm not liking. This is impressive. And a little goes a long way. Sometimes I'm guilty of like overusing products because I love them so much. I mean, look at my skin. Holy hydration. <laughs> like even just the before and after, like from before and after cleansing, I'm so plump. Like look at this before and after. Look at this after, this is three products. Only two are on the skin. So three products used two on the skin versus when I had a full face of like sunscreen and makeup on. I feel like this would be good for my eyelids and my eyelashes, but maybe the rice water I could kind of do this with. Anyways, I'm gonna go to bed. I love the, <laughs> freaking love what this does to my skin. Um, make sure that that's all out of my hairline, yeah. I hate getting product in my hairline and like hairline acne and then having to dry it off. 
Anyways, I definitely got it all off. So we're gonna go to bed. I feel great this evening. Good night. So the question was, what does $250 of K-beauty get you? And the answer is a whole lot of stuff that has quite frankly either blown my mind or shockingly disappointed me. Let's talk about this because I still can't believe that I got all of this for not only 250, but with a discount, basically just slightly above 200 bucks. I cannot believe this. And again, I thought that I was going to love certain things like this Hamisha clean bomb more than some of the others. But this goes to show that just because you turn and learn your ingredients and you like what's on the box, doesn't mean you're going to love the formula or the sourcing or the way it feels on your skin. This, oh my God, this something happened with this, I have to tell you. So let's start off with these. The Hamish All Clean Balm. This is such a good mandarin orange version of the original. I actually like this better than the original because I hate the color pink. The original one has pink packaging, which whatever, but I do love the smell. I love the way this works on my skin. I love the little spoolie doo hickey. <laughs> it's fantastic. It's basically an orange scented version of the original. If you hated the original, you'll hate this. If you love the original, you'll love this. I think this is gonna replace the original as my favorite, but I was worried that this orange wasn't going to work since my skin can be sensitive to citrus. It wasn't and I'm so happy, but here's the next thing. I thought that this was gonna be one of my favorite things. It wasn't, this is like in the middle. Like there are some things that are so much better. This right here. I think this is one of my holy grails, the Manio, Manio. It says endless hunger for ingredients. Well, my skin has an endless hunger for this. I've literally gone through like half of it and I use it very sparingly. I love that a little bit of this goes a long way. It's a huge package and it's this pure cleansing oil. It reminds me of the brand, I can't remember, DHC, DHT. I know it's not that, but this has been fantastic as a cleansing oil. Um, there was actually one day I tried to take it and like use it on the rest of my body. My skin fell in love with this. And if you're trying to break down makeup, it works really well. And if you're just trying to clean your body or you have like blackheads and like sebaceous filaments on your back and shoulders, I personally do. And it's kind of something I don't talk about a lot. I'm not super embarrassed by it, but it's not something that I always feel comfortable sharing like with you. It's fine, but like in life face to face with people, I kind of hide them, like I don't talk about them, but I get all of these sebaceous filaments like on my chest and my nose and my back. And I'm good at treating them on my nose and my face, but it's hard on the chest and the back. This has made it super easy. And remember, like dissolves like, so the oil helps to dissolve the oil. I could literally like scratch my fingers across my back and like little sebaceous filaments would pop out. So I'm obsessed with this. One of my favorite products that I was not expecting to love so much. Now, when it comes to the toners, this was phenomenal and then sadly surprising. This right here, the AHA, BHA, PHA toner, this was good. It wasn't bad, it was okay, but I thought I was gonna love this a lot more. I felt like this was a little too gentle for my blemish prone skin and especially some of the blemishes that happen like on my chest and shoulders. Just comparing this low pH toner to the Miracle Cream that they have, the 30 Day Miracle Cream, the cream is so much better. So this is good and for the price it's good, but like, you know, I just couldn't see myself reaching for it all the time when I have better toners available. It is gentle, it is K-beauty. If you have acne prone skin, it's all right, but this was kind of like at the bottom of the list and I thought that I was going to love it a lot more just because I loved the moisturizer of this. Goes to show, just because you love a brand or one product doesn't mean you'll love the other. This, however, oh, I love this. I love this. This is the rice toner from I'm From. This is so soothing. This is so gentle and a little bit goes a long way. With a lot of toners, I find myself having to like load up pads and spreading them all over. Literally just oh, a drop or two can spread so easily and hydrate so well. I'm putting this on over sunscreen today, but I do not care. Like a little bit is so nice and it soaks in so beautifully. You know how when you have curtains, you can have the sheer curtain and the blackout curtain right? Like the blackout curtain is that thick one that keeps the sun out. And that sheer one is just like, it's beautiful. And like, you could like still be changing and like people couldn't see you, but like you're shielded, but you can still kind of see outside. This reminds me of the sheer curtain. Does that analogy even make sense? I had to go buy a <laughs> curtain. Dude, curtain rods are so confusing. Can someone please help? I think I need like a double curtain rod. I don't understand it. Anyways, I need to buy curtains. This reminds me of the sheer curtain. It's gentle. It's lightweight. It's hydrating. So like, you know, it's there and it's working, but it's not overbearing. Whereas like the blackout curtain like takes over everything else. Like your thick moisturizer, right? This is so nice and lightweight. It's like that barely there feeling that actually does the work. I'm obsessed with this. 
I love that it's vegan. I love that the entire brand, I learned more about them. Their backstory is really amazing. This has been a slam dunk and I'm definitely going to be trying more I'm From products because of this. Honestly, if you have combo skin or if you're getting dry patches or if you're traveling, this is amazing. Even if you're oily and need hydration, try this. A lot of people don't realize that when they have oily skin, they still need hydration. Now, if you're so greasy, you can't even hear the word hydration without having your sebaceous glands secrete more oil, okay, then avoid it. But I love this. I loved this so much. Using it sparingly, but like, Honestly, for the price, I don't have to. This has been phenomenal. The rice extract along with the rice bran extract, it's got niacinamide in there. I loved it. And um, my pores do as well. All right, next, the Toradin Dive-In Serum. This is another little discovery that has made me want to explore this brand even more. So this Dive-In Serum is good, but I felt that it is leaving a little bit more to be desired for my skin. If you're someone who's like just discovering K-Beauty and trying to play it safe, this will be really good but for like an advanced skincare user I think this is good as a basic but like if you've got other things in your routine if you know how to layer your products I don't know if this is necessary it is a really good hydrating serum it's good but for my you know oily prone skin that's been a little bit more dry recently and freaking out and for my use case I just kept using this and I was like eh. It's a good hydrator. I do really feel like I first started falling in love with it. And then when I compared it to my Isentree one, the hyaluronic acid one, or even some of the Logically skin that I've gotten from Stylevon in the past, I'm like, Mer. It's a good hydrating serum, okay? I do like that it's blue, it's pretty, but I also have like Biosense's copper peptides for that blue factor. Again, for the price, really good. For a beginner, it's excellent. For me, I think I'm gonna try some of their other products because it's decent, but I just wasn't blown away by this. I was more blown away by my first impression, and then as I used it a little more, I was like, Meh, okay. And specifically for the Dive-In Serum, it's got like this plastic lid, and I don't know, it just, it takes away a little bit of the gravitas from it, you know? It's pretty, and like the formula itself, the blue is gorgeous, and then the cap just takes away from it. And I understand the cap does not really you know, have anything to do with the efficacy of how it hydrates my skin. But especially compared to some of the other things I discovered, I was just like, nah, she okay, she okay, but she not, she not my bestie right now. Something that is my bestie. Are we gonna talk about this? I'm, actually, I'm gonna say this for last because this was, this was, a, this was a doozy. Let's talk about these guys, these toning pads that I ended up using. These grew on me. When I first tried these, I thought I was gonna love the AHA BHA toner more than these. I end up loving these more. These actually did work, it just took some time. And this was like a great testament to be patient, Cassandra. These barrier cycle toning pads literally work with the cycle of your skin. They are slow, but efficacious. And I would put them like right here, and then I have these shoulder breakouts that have just been gnarly. I also got this little pimple on the side of my nose, and I like shoved this into the corner of my nose. And I do feel like that little nose blemish went away much faster than it normally would. I mean, I don't even see it there anymore. And that was really annoying. I basically did this for like a day. These are really nice. They're hydrating. They're good for travel and on the go. Right now, I'm basically just using this over a sunscreen. I'm probably wiping off my sunscreen, but that's fine. I ended up really falling in love with these, which I was not fully expecting to do. So this was a welcome surprise to the routine. And I think once I'm done with these, I would buy them again, but I'm wondering if I should try some other, you know, barrier pads as well. The ingredients in here were great. The tea tree, the papaya, even the witch hazel, not irritating to the skin. Again, I think I was kind of thrown off because it was just that gentle, you know? But overall, um, I really did appreciate these. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put these on my breakouts that are happening on my chesticles right now. <laughs> you ever wondered like who you're meeting in public and they have like an entire face mask on their chest or like those booby pads that Shay Mitchell uses like under their shirt? You'll never know. <laughs> so good. This guy, oh my gosh, this took like six months to test, but I am so happy that I got my hands on this. Haru Haru Wonder is coming out with some of the best products Products, and I can understand why Koreans are obsessed with these K-Beauty bombs. I actually found myself loving this as like an extended chapstick. Worked really well on the corners of my nose. I've been going for it. You know, I have even tried playing around with it on my like split ends. I will say for me, I have curly oily hair naturally. So it does make my hair a little bit greasy, but as like a touch up as something on the go, it's really good. And it's like a hefty bomb and that's a bomb, not like a bomb 
I mean, I mean, you know, right? Please tell me you know. Like, if you're watching this, you know I'm talking about skincare, not like explosives, right? Please. Anyways, really great, especially if you have like dryness around the eyes or the cheeks. And I feel like just a couple swipes, it's a good thick moisturizer. I love the ingredients and it's called a healing balm. I do feel like it healed my dryness. Low key. I feel like my eyebrows and my eyelashes are growing a little bit longer. You know how some people use castor oil for their eyelashes? I have lash extensions, like I wasn't trying to use this on my lashes, but I feel like as I've kind of like accidentally gotten into my lash line, as I'm doing this around my eye area for those dry patches, I feel like I've noticed on the outside, my lashes on the top and bottom are looking longer. Am I crazy? Again, don't answer that. We know the answer is, yeah, maybe she probably is, but, I really love this. Now, one thing that is a disappointment was this. If you're pale, this is great. It's a vegan kombucha tea SPF 30, Dr. Seracle. But I got this thinking it was like a tinted sunscreen when um, it's not just a BB cream. This is like a full on foundation. This is thick. If you're the right shade, it's wonderful. But for me, I find that I have to use it as like a highlighter. Otherwise it doesn't soak into the skin and I just look pasty. And if I look pasty with it being like a Fitzpatrick type two, it makes me wonder how a lot of other people will experience this. The ingredients are good. Um, it feels kind of nice on the skin. I actually felt that it kind of dried out throughout the day and just comparing it to something like this um, or like this, I just wasn't as impressed as I wish I could have been. So again, if you're pale or if you're looking for something that kind of doubles as makeup or works really well under makeup, yes. But if you're not looking for a dry touch concealer, no. Now, compare that to this. First off, the package is bigger. Second off, package be cuter. Third off, feels so good on my skin. Unlike this that kind of felt thicker, this felt so light. Wait, I can understand why this is a bestseller in Korea. Look at me, I used these toning pads to swipe off my sunscreen and now we're putting it right back on. I love this. It goes in so soothing, so fast. I'm trying to think of if this would be on like my top 10 K-beauty sunscreen list. Let me know if you want me to make a top 10 K-beauty sunscreen list or you know, top K-beauty sunscreens for each skin concern. This is fantastic. I love that it's an SPF 50 PA++++ with four pluses, 50 milliliters. This is just good. Like, it's just good. I'm still perplexed by the birch sap or the birch bark. I was looking for medical studies on it and I couldn't really find anything. I'm wondering if it's listed under like a Latin name that I wasn't able to find. So like the science of it confuses me a little bit. It is a chemical slash organic filter, but it's got the soy ink and the forestry recycled packaging. It's got the cute little girl on it. It feels so lightweight on the skin. It's like fragrance free. It doesn't overly sting my eyes. If I sweat, I found that it would sting, but like, it's so good. <laughs> this is just a good sunscreen. And um, I think it might be on my top 10 list. I'm really impressed with this. I saw it in Korea, but like, yeah, I am going to be buying this again. This was really, really good. If you're looking for a nice sunscreen that you can layer in the winter, don't sleep on it. If you're looking for a hydrating sunscreen for summer, could be okay. But like, yeah. baby, I didn't expect to love this as much as I did. Now we've got a sunscreen, but we gotta talk about the Alta Barrier. <laughs> Again, this was one that I was kind of excited about. This has been like a little savior. Um, it's one of those things that could be boring. It's, I still don't know how to pronounce it. Alta Barrier, Alta Barrier Cream. I kind of like the sunscreen, it is just good. If you want something thick, she a little like butter. Oh, look at that. You can actually see it's so cold that it's kind of tented up on the side here. It's kind of thick like butter, but you know what? It does the job. It keeps you hydrated. It keeps all the other goodness sealed in. I like this for nighttime use. I think that's kind of my favorite and kind of how I would use it on my skin type. If you're dry, you will love this. If you're oily, yeah. It's good. You know, I was kind of worried about some of those spheres uh, in the beginning. They break down so nicely on skin and I do feel like those little spheres add extra hydration. The Otto Barrier 365 is something that I do think you could use 365 days of the year. Really impressed by it. Why I just put it over a sunscreen, I don't know. Don't question me at this point. It has been a long day. But um, yeah, especially for the price, if you have dry skin, use this on your face or use it on your hands. I found that it's like a really good hand cream. If you're oily, think twice, but um, phenomenal. Now, again, we have this to talk about, which, oh, we have to talk about this, but we also have to talk about sunsticks. I found out there's like drama around sunsticks in like the past six months. Some people are saying that you have to do like 30 swipes to get it on your skin. I wouldn't use this as a primary application, but for reapplication, this is nice. This feels like Vaseline in a sunstick. I don't know how I would love this during the summer on my oily skin, but again, my emotions have been everywhere. My oil glands have left the chat. I've had dry patches. I've had oily patches. This 
is so good. And it's a formula that I can leave in my car. Reminds me of a little deodorant stick. It's SPF 50 PA++++. And when I do check it under my little UV light, it's covering my skin. So yes, I would use it as a reapplication, not as a primary. And yes, even once you put it on, like swipe and then rub in, you know, make sure that it's getting covered. But I really love this. And a little has gone a long way. But out of all these products, was there a favorite? this. <laughs> okay, so this is the ProBioSica Enriched Cream. And when I first got this, and when I first was testing this, I was just enamored by the little spatula. I was just enamored by the product itself and how it felt on the skin. It feels like a snail mucin alternative. And I actually got a couple more and they got shipped to me and I ended up giving them to some friends. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> I have one friend who's a little unhinged. Her name is Shu. You should check her out on YouTube. She wanted me to build her a skincare routine and we took shots before building the skincare routine. I took shots of water and coffee. She drank the alcohols. I was showing her this product and how much I love it. And she and the person behind the camera were just laughing and I did not understand. <laughs> And I guess this is my problem because I haven't dated in seven and a half years, yet I still get my heart broken. What the f Anyways, haven't even bothered dating and um, she rides the rainbow train. Anyways, it turned into an unwelcomed adult conversation. <laughs> and um, I cannot think of this product the same after. I thought it was like a vegan snail mucin. I thought it was probiotics. And uh, my mind has now been ruined. Thank you, Shu. I hope you're happy. It is funny. Am I five years old because I giggle about these things? Quite maybe, but you know what? I'm going to shamelessly rub it on my face because whether or not you ride the rainbow train, you need hydration. <laughs> and this will give you such good hydration. I love this. It's my little vegan alternative to snail mucin. It seals in my skin, works on my dry days and my oily days. I love it. And if someone wants to make fun of me for my skincare choices, you know, I could make fun of a lot of other people for a lot of other things and I'm just gonna keep those insults in my back pocket, okay? This is such a good moisturizer. It ended up being one of my favorites. And then the fact that my friends are a little perverted and ruined it for me just makes it that much funnier because I am an immature two-year-old. So the question at the end of the day is how much K-beauty does $250 get you? And the answer is a full morning routine, a full evening routine, acne treatment products, sun products, borderline makeup products, and even money left over for extra face masks or tools. I am enamored. Again, this is why I love Stylevana, and I'm so grateful to work with them on this video and have that coupon code available. If you want to use that, it's a huge discount. Use it. But even if you don't, they have the best prices for K-Beauty that I've found on the internet. I've been shopping from them for years and obviously I'm going to continue because after trying some of the best sellers, after it's so easy to navigate the website, I'm saving money, but I'm also like losing money because I'm spending so much. But like girl math, I'm actually saving the money because I would have spent so much more on full price products elsewhere that aren't K-Beauty, that aren't as hydrating or amazing for my skin, right? So I'm actually saving money. And then the coupon is just like even more. I'm actually making money. That's girl math. Anyways, girl math is over. I'm gonna continue rubbing this onto my face shamelessly. And I hope you learned something because man, I sure did. Oh, I sure did. Always remember to stay hydrated, both orally and topically. Reapply that SPF. You know which ones I will be reapplying. And always remember to be beautiful, both inside and out. And share skincare with your friends. Share skincare with your friends, okay? They might surprise you. You might learn something, or you might be their skin intellectual fairy godmother who helps them with their skin. Because obviously, if you've made it through this video, you've learned a lot and you're probably a skin intellectual. If you're not a skin intellectual, subscribe. <laughs> You know where the button is. All right, I love you guys. Bye.